Okay, this is uh, Unit 10, Lesson 5, Grammar Lesson. Today we're talking about adjective clauses. And I, I just want to start um, first with just a, a quick review about what are adjectives and what do they do, and just talk about some examples. So um, who, who can remind me uh, what an adjective does? What's the purpose of an adjective in a sentence? Javier, in a sentence, what does an adjective do? No, not sure? Okay. No, it doesn't express an action. That's a verb. Okay. But, but adjectives serve a, a, a very specific purpose. Uh, I'm having a hard time hearing you, Rakiba. Can you say that closer to your microphone? Okay. It's like Just give the information about the nouns. There you go. <laughs> there you go. An adjective gives information about nouns. An adjective, we say, describes a noun, right? Um, or some, some grammar books might say that an adjective modifies a noun. That's a word that you'll hear. It modifies a noun. So can you see the can you see Chian in your screen? Yeah. Can you see Chian, everyone? Chian, we're looking at Chian, and he has a sweater on. What color is his sweater? Green. It's green. green. Yeah. It's green. So the the noun is a sweater, and green is an adjective, right? Um, it it modifies or describes the noun. Um, we we can do that with all kinds of nouns. Here's you know. Um, my phone, and I might say, what, what is the phone made out of? It's, it's a plastic phone, or it's a, a hard phone case. So plastic and hard are adjectives. They're describing specific nouns, all right? So we have, you know, these one word, uh, this part of speech, one word, adjective. Um, but as, as we make more and more complex sentences, uh, we might want to use more than one word to describe a noun. And so on page 194, you can see an adjective clause, okay? And a clause is a, is a group of words. It's a, it's a group of words, but it cannot uh, stand alone. It's not a sentence. So if I just if I come up to to you and I say something like experiences it or that is produced by a computer or which cover three levels of learning those those are not complete sentences and so you don't know um, my idea right so a clause cannot stand alone it's it's dependent on something else and in this case, we're looking specifically at the noun that the clause is describing, okay? So here we have our main clause. It seems, it, it seems real to the person. Um, and then here we, we say, well, which person? And they're talking about virtual reality in this sentence. Um, so virtual reality seems real to the person. And which person? to the person who experiences it. Or virtual, virtual reality is an environment, and then we want to describe that environment because this is the noun, okay? The environment that is produced by a computer. And the game includes five missions. What kind of missions? Uh, which cover three levels of learning permits, okay? 
And so we have this adjective clause and an adjective clause is introduced by a part of speech that we call a relative pronoun. Okay. Um, and let me give you another example. This, this book uses who, that, and which, but I want to give you one more example here. Um, and I might say my brother, whose name is Jim is a nice guy. Okay. And so in this case, whose is a relative pronoun as well. And we're, we're describing my brother by giving his name. Okay. And so this is another example of an adjective clause. I'm describing my brother as a nice guy. Um, let's look at the, the, um, the section below here. So this is kind of what we're talking about. So adjective clauses are dependent, so they cannot stand alone. They modify nouns or describe nouns. They tell more about nouns. They can identify, they can define, or they can give more information, okay? And then, of course, like we said, they begin with a relative pronoun, use who or that for people, use that or which for things. All right.